Welcome to the podcast that brings you raw and original takes on a wide range of sports and entertainment. It's your boy Henny Dre. It's John John. And this is The Fan, Fan Perspective. Perspective. And we ain't got all the facts. Nope. But we are going to keep it 100 with all the opinions that we do give. One zero zero at a zero one thousand. That was like tip money for Zion. <laughs> one thousand. Right, I was, I was tip money. So I don't think that was going out bad though. I ain't gonna, that's the part I'm disappointed about. I'm proud of my boy. He he done went and got lived his dreams. You know what I'm saying? Fact it, fact it. You know what I'm saying? All them all but them be, long nights by right. himself. You know what I'm saying? After practice, yeah, after yeah, training, and yeah, get, yeah, you yeah. can't really have no friends because you headed to the NBA. And you gonna peace out on them anyway. Fact it, you know fact what I'm saying? So, but, be, but, but before we get into that, man. Oh, man. What happened, before man? we get into, into that, man, you know what I'm saying? We got to give a big congratulations to the Denver Nuggets, man. 2023 NBA hey, champions. Man. Boo. No. Yeah, we know you booing over here, though. But <laughs> hey, man. It's not your like team it. made it. Like we talked about, yeah. man. We talked about a couple episodes. Your team made it. You wasn't expecting too much from them. They made it all the way to the playoffs, man, and they, to the championship shit. And, well, in the championship, they turned back into a bubble team. Yeah. Or Denver was just that good, you know? Shout out to the Joker, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get MVP. Definitely shout I mean? out to the Joker. Yo, funny, he's a motherfucker. Yeah, he's funny. But I, I just wanted to say before that, man, yeah. what you said that the Denver Nugget or, or the we had to do to beat the Denver Nuggets, the Denver Nuggets did to us. Right, they did. They kept us under 100. They did. They did. I, I was thinking that today. <laughs> they kept I was us like, I was telling 100. people that, right. I was like, yeah, nah, if he want to keep it, they got to do low scoring and stuff like that. And exactly damn opposite. right. It's the opposite. opposite. They hold the heat under 100 a few times and kept it in that 106, every that game, lower. Every game they yeah. won, we was under 100. Yeah, yeah, they kept it, like I said, in the score in general, like I said. It was the same. Even if it was 100, right. Even if it was 100, it was 102 to 107, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was real close games and stuff like that. And like you alluding to, like I said, I said it, and they did the opposite, and, you know. Like I said, you know, the Heat got to tip the hat off to the Heat, like I said, for even making it there that far, you know what I mean? We ruined everybody else's chances. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. They got the oh, bucks. Yo, the, yo oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. These two, the Boston haters. They're not even fans. They haters. They haters. Because <laughs> they was in my inbox early. Like, yo, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what happened? They're like, all right, Miami lost. Oh, you big hater. You a big hater. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, y'all been lost, though. Y'all right. Y'all, y'all been. Us. Exactly. Y'all watching us. That's a fact. <laughs> they salty. The bottom line, I don't, I don't let how people be, though. Like, soon as they pounce on you. Soon as, you know what I mean? Soon as something happened. Like, we beat y'all, though, bro. Word. We made it out word. here. And like I said, like we said, man, we was in the damn playing tournament. We weren't supposed to be here, you know what I'm saying? We like almost said, lost to y'all. Right. <laughs> we was up. And we shit. We we would not make the championship, trust me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Respectfully, you know what I mean? I love my boys, but we, you know, we wasn't built for that, man. You know I got your point guard on 2K. Who that? Kobe White. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe still could hoop, though. He's taller than I thought. Nah, Kobe could hoop. In, in the Kobe. game, because I had John Stockton. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm like, I don't really want to switch Kobe uh-huh. White in for John Stockton, but his overall points, whatever, was way higher. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, I got to switch him right, to right. get fact, to the next fact, level. Fact, yeah. And then when I put him in, I'm like, oh, he tall. I thought he was short. Oh, he tall as a motherfucker. Nah, nah, I'm Kobe, good. Kobe pretty tall. Yeah, pretty tall and stuff like that. Except North Carolina cat. I mean, point guard. He's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Or anyway, though, you know what I'm saying? The Miami Heat. Uh, I mean, not the shit. See, I still want to talk about the Miami Heat. <laughs> the Denver Nuggets. No, Nikola Jokic is the funniest player, the best player. Yo, yo, he don't even care about basketball, yo. He out here killing everybody. So. I was just about to say that, like, <laughs> love him and stuff like that. But it seems like he like, like you said, like you've been saying. He, he treating that shit like a job. Like, all right, I'm going to do my nine to five. And I, someone, all right. someone said, someone said, he, now it's time to go home. Someone said it was his side mission. That was a side mission? He was doing side missions. This championship was a side mission. Now he got to go back to his horse. Right, right. <laughs> For real, man. Shout out to Joker, though, man. Like you said, he's different, man. Out. Two-time MVP. Mm-hmm. Now he got an NBA championship and an NBA MVP of the finals. Yep. Now, yeah, in my yeah. eyes, he, he a top five center of all time. In my okay, eyes. Okay. Like, we I, talked about it before. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I agree with it. I agree with it. I agree with it. I say he a top five. You know what skill, I'm saying? Skill is crazy. Huh? Nah. Skill is crazy. That's why I was happy, like I said. I was happy that he got to display his full, you know what I mean? Arsenal. Repertoire. Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Passing. Rebound. You know, even some game, like he'll dribble the ball down court like himself. You know what I'm saying? And, and make an assist here and there. You know what I mean? And, 
Definitely smart, man. Definitely got high IQ, man. He was the first player in NBA history mm-hmm. to lead the playoffs. Playoffs? In points, rebounds, and assists. Points, rebounds, and assists, yeah? He was the first player? First player in NBA history to lead all players in points, rebounds, and assists. And they go by average, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that means he averaged more than everybody in the playoff. Yeah. He averaged more rebounds than everybody in the playoff. Yeah, he definitely. And he averaged more assists than everybody in the playoffs. Yeah, sounds about right. As a center. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Scary. Especially as the, especially the, like I said, the passing. The passing is just amazing to get that from a big man. You should, you know, you're supposed to get your rebounds. You know, we always talk about that. You tall like that. You're supposed to grab some rebounds, but to, you know, be a facilitator as well. You know what I'm saying? And, he, you know, he played pretty good defense as well. So, great all around game. Can he get any better, you think? Yeah. You think? Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, and no, I think he's there. Like, he he be aggressive when he wants to, mm-hmm. and he he efficient with scoring at least. The mm-hmm. only thing is today, uh, I seen Skip, Skip Bayless compare him and, and B on a head to head match, and I guess when you get a little physical with him, he, mm-hmm. he tends to turn the ball over. No joker. So, yeah. So yeah. A maybe bit. maybe he lifts some weights or something. You know, get a little stronger. A yeah, little yeah. I can see that a little bit. Like far as like. Like you said, when you play a little physical, like is it, you know, he tried to do a little dribble or two too much. Yeah, I can see that. I can but see son, that. But, yo. but he definitely the top center. Like you said, he was already there, but you know, MB took the MVP this year. But it's like you said, you gotta get that finals MVP than that regular season MVP all day, every day. So know it's know the saying? late care though, man. Reporter was like, so, so, you know, you ready to celebrate? He said, yo, 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 when the parade? Right. <laughs> He like with a parade. They said Thursday. He said, "Oh hell no!" Nah. Like, damn, I gotta stay in. He this. said, "I gotta go to fuck home." So right. What the fuck? He like, I gotta stay here for another two days, man. I'm trying to go home. Where is it's cold here? It's cold <laughs> in Serbia too. I'm good. Like, <laughs> shit, this motherfucker in June, nigga. It's the middle of June. He's straight everywhere. He should be straight. Nah, everywhere. it's cold in the mountains in Denver, Colorado, man. You know. And then nah, in Ser- Serbia is cold. Serbia is Russia. Yeah, yeah. Serbia is winning all the time. Ain't yeah, it? that's wild over there. That's, I just, just it ain't winning all the time, but yeah, it's, no, I get what you saying. Time yeah, yeah, it's cold and stuff like that. I get that aspect. Since I got it, like I said, I he just funny, horse, man. Son. He just funny. Like they I said, said, he can leave Friday, and, he, and then and then on the interview with the uh, with the post game, not not the uh, not not the reporters and stuff, uh-huh. the one on TV. Yeah, he was like, um. He was like, yo, he called out the owner, like, yo, let me get the jet. Like, I'll put the pressure on you. I don't even care. So, <laughs> like, literally, he said that. He's right, like, right, right. you know, I'll put the pressure on you. you know, I don't, I'm no cares at all. <laughs> you know? Right, right. You okay. <laughs> so, fact. either either you're going to be an asshole and not let me get the private jet, or you're going to let me get the private jet. <laughs> Shit. I just won you a championship. So, right. You know what I'm saying? Give me the private jet. I go home, race, race my horses. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And then I'll come back next uh, spring training. Shout, whatever, out to whatever the owner. Shout out to the owner, man. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Stan? What's that? How oh, he been snapping. How you say that? Cronky? Yep. Cronky. Cronky. Yeah, he's the owner of the Los Angeles Rams. I just won a championship in 2022. And you got Colorado. You know, in the NL championship, they won in 2022 as well. The Colorado Avalanche won, you know what I mean, hockey. And the Denver Nuggets won this year. So he had a hell of a two-year run he just to be an owner. That's what I'm saying. He's snapping. Yeah, so. he out there. He out there for sure. That's why they was like, the coach was like, yeah, man, we here. Like, let's, let's run this, keep running this back. Because, you know, some owners be like, all right, we won this championship. Maybe we run it back next year, and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? We got to cut this money. But, yeah, definitely shout out to him, man. You know what I mean? I got to be feel good as an owner. That's your job. You know what I'm saying? That's your that's your all like that's your goal. Like as a sports owner, you want to win these chips. You feel me like that? Like you want to be the best team. You know what I'm saying? You want to win some championships. You know what I'm saying? If possible, but you definitely want to put a great franchise, great product out there. You know what I'm saying? Players, the teams, and stuff nah, like yeah, that. So. It's like it's like uh, you get that feeling. That everything I touch turn gold. Type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like. Everything I'm in control of right now. We got the new stadium in L.A., you know, L.A. Rams. Right. New stadium. Had the Super Bowl there. Right. Won the Super Bowl there. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't get no better than that. All right. Got your money back. Definitely. <laughs> you feel Definitely. Me? You feel You know what I'm saying? But then, I think, what, what was You said NLL? Yeah, that's that, probably lacrosse or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, something like that. 
lacrosse is an up and coming sport. You know, a lot of scholarships go out in college. Success, a lot of eyes on us. People, people that is coming up in lacrosse, they want to come play for us because we won the championship. Factor. Uh, hockey. I don't watch hockey, but I know I don't. I ain't heard no Colorado win in a long time. <laughs> like, fact, fact. You know what I'm saying? Just in general, they ain't like you said. They not a, you know. Yeah. You know, historic franchise team that you you always hear. But hockey, man, you know, no racist, but the white people love that shit, man. Yeah. And I and I know and I know I know some black people that's like they, that's they love too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like for literally, sure. like that's sure. their sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like said, the yeah. Majority is you know. But that sport right. is huge too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Win the championship, give me that. Right, right. Now it's the NBA. NBA is huge. It's not as big as the NFL. At it's nah, not even NFL, close. Yeah, it's yeah. not even close. Yeah, honestly, no, 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 but. As far as like star power, you they know got, what I'm saying? They got NBA more. They got more star yeah, power. Yeah, they got more star power. Absolutely. You know what I'm like saying? Like you said, NFL is global. The word NFL is more global. But when you talk about star power, like you said, LeBron is globally than anybody in the NFL other than like Tom Brady. You know, the, like, the, you know the NFL has mastered their audience. You know what I'm saying? It's as much viewers as they get 115 million on the Super Bowl. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When Rihanna was performing. Hello. That's Hello. 115 hey, hey. million from the United States Hello. of America. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's America. America, what, 300 million America. people? I don't know the count. I know it's about 330 million people. I know it's a lot. So it's like a third of the country watch is watching football. Right. You know at what I'm saying? At one point in time, yeah. At it's one just, point, you know, they, 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 they tuned in at one point. Basketball is super global. But they reach, they haven't mastered that audience. Like, it's, it's, I don't think it's enough players to get on the team. Like, I don't think it's enough, like, enough people feeling like, oh, I, I got a chance to make it. You it's, know what I'm saying? No, maybe, it's, yeah, it's all more. Maybe it's something like that. I, I think know. the NBA that was just, just raw more, off the top. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I think more NBA, just more just like, uh, that's why the NBA, they root for more people, more uh, global power, more star power in the finals. You know what I'm saying? Because that's their Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's their Super Bowl, the finals, NBA finals. So, like, the Joker being in there, you know, made it global. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Denver ain't the sexy team, like we said. You know what I'm saying? Miami is, but, you know, the star power isn't, you know, all the way there. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy's a star. But, you know, they, like I said, they come up from H, H seed all the way up, you know what I mean, to, to the championship. But, yeah, they, that's why they always root for LeBron. Like, Lakers, Knicks, you know what I'm saying? Teams like that, they get in there because they're going to bring that audience. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, definitely, you know what I'm saying? It's tears to it. And, like I said, NFL's up there. You know what I'm saying? Never after lacking, you know what I'm saying? And definitely NBA, you know, it's there. Like I said, all around, people know who the Joker, who is Giannis. Like, those are international. Like, the top 10 players. It's three top 10 players in the league, and they're from other countries. You got Giannis, Luka, and the Joker. You know what I'm saying? And those got, you know, easily can yeah. be top five players almost. The Joker and Murray, they both from, you know. Right. Murray from Canada. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They both international. Facts. That's international dude. That's Dirk and, Dirk and Steve Nash. Right? Basically, yeah. It is. Dirk and Steve Nash. Is, is Dirk <laughs> from that country? Where, um, I, don't I don't think so, right? Dirk from Germany. Okay, yeah. But just in general, what you're saying, just the star power of being international players playing on the same team. No, definitely. Point yeah. guard and, and big man, you know what I'm saying? I get that aspect for sure. Yeah, but definitely shout out to the Nuggets, man. Like you said, no, definitely. You know, give them they 2023 props. champions. They, they made the. They made they made the shots when they needed to. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, they the did. They made it. They made it, and they showed uh, they showed grit because you know he punched them back, you know, and then they came back, and you know what I mean, and hold the lead at the end. You know what I'm saying? Because they was like they was. You know, I'm talking about ice. Ice cold. They was fucking frozen from yeah. three point line. They right. couldn't hit. They was. They had. I think they set the NBA record for the first half or something like one for fifteen. Yeah, yeah three probably. Points. Probably. You feel me? But that's the thing. That's why I say we turned right back into a bubble team because we was like twenty seventh in the league in three point shooting or something this year. Like, yeah. No, that's what that's what got y'all to the NBA finals. That, that three, and then once y'all got cold, like I said, once. And it was uncharacteristic. That Stru three was uncharacteristic for us. Though. No, absolutely. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? Right, right. Right. But you had the Arsenal too, like Struess and you know what I'm saying, and Vincent and we got snipers. Uh, Duncan Robinson, like those are all three point shooters. Like they, they ain't known for nothing else but three. Off. But it was off. And then like you said, Hero, you know what I'm saying, was hurt. He was available for the game, but you know, they ain't put him in. They ain't wanna mess up the mojo. You Body know what I'm saying? He used to hurt. 
Yeah, he was still hurt too. But like you said, if you can get it eighty percent, he was hurt. Hero. They said it was hurt. It was. You said he was hurting. Okay. They said it was hurting when he every time he shot. Oh, so shit. Yeah. That's why he ain't getting the game. Yeah. Hmm. For sure. That was that. They said that that was more like you got to prepare for him now because he might get in the game. Okay. So we're taking a little Little strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. You know what I'm saying. You was talking about viewers and stuff earlier, man. You got. Uh, man, last day, man, undisputed, man, undisputed. That's wild, man. That's, last day, man. It, it, it was kind of like you know, it was kind of surreal. You know what I'm saying? Just as a fan watching that video, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Of him saying his peace out because I, I tweeted, I tweeted yesterday mm-hmm. um, during the game or right before the game or something. I said, so if yes, sir. If, if the Heat lose tonight, you know, is it is Shannon coming tomorrow? Like, he came, but it was like, yeah, peace out. Like, yeah, it was like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it was a peace out, like you said, for sure. It was definitely a peace out. And that's how they lined it, too. They said it, like, this is how it's going to roll out. You know that was my dog, though. You know what I'm saying? He got, he, he the reason really I, I started watching Undisputed because it was just them, cl- them clips of, come on, skip, come on, skip, come on, skip. And it was just like, you know, I got to tap in because. I know he's a player. You know what I'm saying? I know, I right. know Shannon Sharp is. Right. Maybe I never watched the game. Right. But I know who the hell he is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he's one of them players, like you on said. Every you list, never, on every whatever, all time. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you said he was a player that you probably never watched. You know what I'm saying? Because he was in Denver. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but I'd say like, that, that was my generation. That's like my era as far as like watching football and stuff like that. Like when he was when he was in there, he was doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing for Denver. You know what I mean? He went to Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? He was with them cats. And he was just always, he was, a, as far as uh, uh, a personality, like you knew who he was, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, not Hard Knocks. Was it Hard Knocks, though? Probably. Like, it was probably Hard Knocks yeah. I tapped into. And, you know, that's, that's why I'm like, oh, shit, he on the debate show? Yeah. The Skip Bayless? Let me check that out. You know what All I'm right. saying? And obviously, but it was mostly the, come on, Skip. Yeah, come yeah. Come on, Skip. Yeah, that's you know like, like, like you said. You know, like when you said this farewell speech, you're like, you know, I'm, you know, like I'm your unk. Like everybody can come from me. Everybody's unk. You know favorite what I'm TV. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like he unk. Like you, you, you can relate. You know what I'm saying. And that's what he brought to the show. Like people can relate to him. And you know what I'm saying. And it's a different, you know, spectrum. You know what I'm saying. Player. You got that gusto on the, on the show and everything. You know, talk about sports. We can still have that gusto. You know, he used to come with the goodie bag. <laughs> right, so. right. Come with the goodie bag. Come with the, with the gummies black. and all that. The black and mild. Right, come with the black and mild. Like you said, he brought that. Hold right. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, this is a tribute. Okay. Tribute to Shannon Sharp. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't really inspiring me to get a podcast, but you definitely helped me grow as a podcaster and talk about sports. And it was cool watching you every day illegally sometimes on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on Fox, but when I was home from work, I throw on Fox Sports one, you know what nah, I'm saying? My name YouTube. I watch my name. <coughs> my name Clip. Yeah, yeah, clips, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, my name YouTube. I like watching videos. But man, this is videos or whatever. This, this is a black and mild toast, man. It's go. Shannon Sharp, man. Come, and, and, and good luck to whatever you got coming next. I'm sure. gonna be watching. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna hold you. I am not gonna lie to you. I'm be very, very honest with you. Okay. So your honest if your opinion. show is about gardening, I'm not watching it. <laughs> Cause I seen that little picture Talking about what you got Coming up next Right right And it looked like Something I might not be Interested in I don't know Hey it could Listen man that, it But might, it looked expensive To make It might have been Over your head man When you talk about gardening what You talk about Some jet shit What you talk about Nah Oh Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, like, baby, I might be interested yeah, in that. I might yeah. be interested in might that. Might have went over your head, man. I'll just, you know, this is a promo clip to be like, yeah, this is what I got coming next. But I expect big things from him, man. Like, definitely be, he'll definitely have his own show. You know what I'm saying? And, and go from there. It'll probably be on ESPN. It probably be that's the that's the. It probably be what I was thinking is, who's taking over the NFL right now? Pay a bet, nah. What you talk about? What uh, what uh, network is taking over like the, like the NFL games and stuff like that? YouTube, just YouTube, like uh, why not uh, partner? YouTube partner? Uh, you a YouTube partner and like be the first kind of like guy to like lead off the nah, it's Pat YouTube. Now I'm talking about like the be literally YouTube though. 
That's Pat McAfee was, but now he going to ESPN. Yeah, he going to ESPN. But I'm saying, do that. I mean, they, <laughs> so I mean, like but I, right now, though, officially the NFL will be have the NFL package and stuff like that on YouTube TV. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. If he can do something like that with around the NFL and you know what I'm saying, I and seen, his own I junk, seen, I seen I somebody, see I seen like somebody that. say something like Twitter is giving out shows. Twitter. Our uh, Twitter is giving out shows. I think one of the news guys that got fired or something, he got a show on Twitter. Okay. Um. But I think I think ESPN is just the logical answer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. ESPN is going to throw them the bag. Definitely. Mm, throw him the bag. I said them because you know shout out to Pat McAfee. You know what I mean? But I I don't know. I, and I, I feel like the t- kind of production <clears throat> that he got in this stuff because he got his podcast too. His podcast is fire. Right. His podcast is different too. It's not just sports. It's everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think the only people that got me, the budget to keep up with that would be like an ESPN who got like an unlimited bag. Yeah. But you said, was it you that you said that that that, that, that Shannon show is still, the Shay Shay is still on the Fox? It was. It can't, he got it with the buyouts. He, he got it with the buyouts, so he yeah. got his own shit, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to say how much production and stuff calls and stuff like that. It is I just know he got a bag though to do it himself though too though. But unless he unless he could, but unless he could get that revenue back, he could run out. He he wasn't that that bag that they giving away now. But he, he was the bag before that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. like eight million dollar contract, sixteen million dollar yeah, contract, yeah. something. You know what I mean? Now it's 160 million you know, contract. No, but that's what I'm saying <laughs> though. But you know any smart businessman, especially when you get to that aspect. You know, like even Pat McAfee, he's like, listen, do the bag, and like he like like when he was explaining, he like, shit, I got do, I do less work now. I got more people to push this machine, you know what I'm saying, and get a bag. So why not? You know what I'm saying. So he definitely he definitely partner up with somebody. You know what I'm saying for sure. That's why I say YouTube TV because you know that's the news like says sponsor NFL Network and all the other stuff, and they're basically gonna take over you know cable and all that other stuff. So I I could see something like that, just straight YouTube. You know what I mean? Contract officially, like, but know, that's why. That's YouTube, why. But. but that's why ESPN should be like, yo, I'm gonna turn up. Cause ESPN on YouTube too. At the end of the day, let's get, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. let's get that out of the way. The Pat McAfee show is going to be streaming on, on ESPN's. YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube gonna be on YouTube page. as well. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying on ESPN's YouTube page. So. Okay, so it's not gonna be the Pat McAfee show page anymore. It's gonna be on the ESPN page. Okay. No, but he says it's going to be streaming on a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, well, it's probably going to be on everywhere. He says it's going to be on everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be on ESPN TV. And it's going to be on ESPN regular. Yeah. On your Sports Center and all that. You say like ESPN too or something? ESPN Plus. Plus, okay. Plus, that's the app. You know, you pay a couple of dollars to go see it on there. Yeah, yeah. Or, and YouTube. Free YouTube ESPN, though. Okay. I thought it was still ESPN. Nah, it's not going to be on his channel no more. It's going to be on ESPN's channel. Oh, he got the bag then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he got the bag or he got the cut on, you know, once what the numbers be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, he got the bag. They ain't giving him that much. They ain't giving him that much? Nah, nah, nah. Not nah, much nah, leeway? Nah. nah. That's okay. Disney. Disney ain't not. I don't care who fuck who you is. Do you know who we are? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you said, in general, man. Like if you, you said, can this, prove to us you can bring that bag to us, yeah. then we'll bless you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, but like I said, in general, though, like you said, he, you know, him, Shan, like I said, they worked their way up to get where they at. Now the bag, like you said, now the, now it's unlimited. You go from talking on little shows here and there on ESPN or Fox, like you said, you be the what they call them freelancers, right? Yeah, like Stephen Jackson was and all the players. Like people be like that, and then boom, like he got all the smoke. Him and Matt Barnes, they both was freelance. They still freelance. They still be on other shows, you know, yep. ESPN or whatever, doing anything. Fox, you know, what they saying? Showtime, right? They do what they want, you know what I'm saying? That might be an option too, Showtime. Why not? Huh? That's why podcast is exclusively on on Showtime. But that's why I say YouTube TV because that's mm-hmm. the new you know the new thing that's coming out. So yeah, it's definitely big things for him. Um, seven years, it ain't seen like seven years. That shit went by fast. I ain't gonna hold you. Who was before him? It was just him. The uh, Skip was with Stephen A. And then Skip left. When FS1. Skip left, it was it was Shannon that that was there. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I swear I skip skip past somebody else before him, but they might have tried some people out like the Breakfast Club doing yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. right now. But I guess Skip said when when they seen when he seen Shannon Sharp was available, he was like get him. 
Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, Shannon was at the freelancer. Like I said, out there in team. No, Shannon was Shannon was uh, working for I think either CBS. That's what I'm saying. Doing the doing the NFL show. Yeah, like Tony Gonzalez. No, no, people say cats like that. People say he wasn't good on that show though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Skip was like that's why people give him Skip his props because like he no, saw it. Well, yeah, ain't nobody else see what like yeah, he saw. What he saw. Yeah, because you gotta think, man. A lot of them players, like you, really have to be like have it from the start. Or like you said, if he get, you know, go with one person and he, him and him and him and him, him and like say me and you talking face to face and that's different. Then it's six other NFL players con- almost getting the same type of analyst and you might get instead of 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you're getting two minutes to talk and then they're going somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like only person that really is the biggest like that is Michael Strahan. You know, his name is talk show. You know what I'm saying? Went to Good Morning America. You feel me? That's the... Up, that's the echelon That's you know that's mean? bigger than football Yeah You know what I'm saying Right there That's just people On a Sunday morning Or whatever Right Or any morning Just on the TV Getting ready for work Right You know what I'm saying So To work that Like I said Skip definitely yeah. definitely yeah That's why he gave his Shout out to Skip You know what I mean Regardless of whatever happens You know what I mean That, that made it come to an end That boy was fly too so. Yeah he got it Yeah Listen, that's and like he got a death row chain before he left. So. Right, right. <laughs> Listen, man, that's like that's like when you run into your ex or something. You, you know, if she know you gonna she gonna be there, you gonna be fly. You gonna get your hair cut, best fresh kicks and clothes. You gonna shining. You gonna add extra little beard oil on your beard. You feel me? Extra. You do you do you do two two sprays. You doing three sprays cologne. You feel me? That's what you like. I'm, I'm shining. I'm out of here. You feel me? So, real quick. So let's just tackle yep. this question right quick because this is the main question that everybody's asking. Mm-hmm. Is the why? You Talk know what I'm saying? To me. Why do you think they got to this point? You do you? So I'm, I'm gonna take a little different angle because I'm gonna just give you like a couple yep. options. Your perspective. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you Dressing. think? Do you think he was fed up with Skip, or do you think? He saw his following. He saw his influence. He saw that, listen, what my contract was seven years ago, my shit, I could make such a bigger bag now by myself. Let me get the fuck up out of here. I think, I think the, the I think 70% was how I grew the show. I think 70% was that. I outgrew the show, like that's a good way of summing what the fuck I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I outgrew the show. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was first here, like you said, the money, you give me whatever. I'm happy to be on TV. All right, couple years, we get three years in it. All right, time to renew. I'm still here, but now I'm my name Club Shay Shay. My name Um. I'm on these streets. Like I became bigger than the show. We you can't know? even we can't even get guests because people don't want to come sit next to him on my show. Everybody want to come, right? <laughs> exactly, like I said, yeah, he just he just outgrew the show, and then you know the thirty percent, like you said, you know, you get into the. Well, I'm tired. Can't stand this person, like you know. I'm, what I mean? I'm tired of you arguing the same shit every day, Skip. That too. You ain't got no new, no new leads, no new nothing. Like you just say the same shit every day. It's one thing to talk about the same topics every day, mm. but to say the same shit about them topics every day is like what the fuck, Skip? Like we talk about this shit three days in a row, and you just keep saying the same shit. It's free like throws, said, man. free throws, free throws. Like what the fuck? I just came up with eight different examples. That's <laughs> it, man. You just outgrew the show, man. Like you said, and you just get tired. You hear the same thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, man. You got that, man. Like all right, that's cool. So I can't even get through a monologue without you. <laughs> that's the worst. In any argu- Listen, when you have any argument or any kind of debate, and somebody I let you talk. I right. let you talk. Somebody yeah. cut you off and stuff like that. That's the worst. Like you. Just, they could be your dead relatives, man. You still be well to choke the shit out. They're like, nigga, let me get this in there real quick. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 in his eyes. The same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro. Like, let me live. Like, let me breathe. You got this. And then, oh, now you get out of pocket. But I love you, so I can't smack you or do or say what I really want to say. So let me relax. And that's when the all right, man. You know what? These cats over here said they give me. <clears throat> what y'all talking about? You feel me? And it probably wasn't even what you're talking about. It was probably like, you know what? It's just time to go. Y'all could have probably been did the same paper. My thing is, he must have not been making shit because if he was making some, some real paper, mm-hmm. you think they'd really buy him out? 
Like, that's a fact. He must have been making some bullshit. And he, he must like, yo. He must have signed him like, like just give five me five year contracts type shit. You know what I'm saying? You must have gave him some bullshit. Like, yo, man, just man, just give me five my five million and we'll get the fuck out of here. So, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just throw me five million. Fuck hey. it. That's what I'm saying. He must have been signing long contracts. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what them people signed. Stephen A was known to be like the big dog before Pat McAfee. Yeah, cause what, what Stephen A signed though for? It was like nine mil a year or some shit like that. Skip got paid, get paid the most, right? Skip cake around them like maybe ten or something. That's the thing. I thought Skip was like ten, twelve or something. Yeah, like that. ten, twelve sound about accurate too. Yeah, but yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Shit, you gotta but, take that. Yeah, let me get my chips and I'm gonna just be out. I, I can right. make some more bread here. I, I can see, I can see him. You know, I can see him getting like three a year, like they, you know what I mean. Probably when he first started, it was like one point five type shit. You know what I'm saying? A mil, a mil. I would say like a mil because you got to think he come from the NFL. Them cats that be on the Sundays, that ain't two fifty, five hundred. You know what I'm saying? Now every year, you know, it increase a little bit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They be there five, six years. Nah, right, you ain't two or three million. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happened with uh, well, what was that? Was it? Is it Greg Olson? I think he was making a certain amount of money, and then some. And then I think Tom Brady is coming, so they cut his contract by like seventy five percent. Yeah, yeah. Like wow. Like come on, bro. That was messed up. So I could see something like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'll be tight. Right. That's like the Rachel Nichols shit. Like hold up, hold up. Like um, I'm she cool. She could get a little job anywhere, but right. she's not gonna take my shit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's fucked up, right? You know, that's real though. Like that's real as a motherfucker. I'm gonna just give her my job. I fuck with the finals. This is the finals. Like, right. Exactly. And, she, and that, that she she pretty, but she weird too. <laughs> hey man, everybody weird, man. The prettiest ones are the weirdest ones too. Yeah. Or the craziest ones. Yeah. However you want to. <laughs> but definitely good luck to Shannon Shop, man. <laughs> the streets, man, you know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out to him, man. All right, let's keep it in some NBA real quick, you know what I mean? Back to the NBA. We shout out Denver, the champions. All right, man, so NBA is done, right? But it ain't done. You got the draft in three weeks, man. You got the trade rumors talking up, you know what I mean? You got Dame out here. What you think? You think Dame ain't going to get traded or ask for a trade this year? You think this is the perfect time for him to get up out of there? Um, Yeah. Or... You know, he stays and they trade for somebody. What you think? Let me just get your perspective. Um, it's, I think it's one of those situations where he don't have to ask for a trade for them to know he want one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think they got that much of a of a relationship. Maybe, maybe they proved me wrong and they still fuck the players. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but I feel like they got to. They he been there forever. Mm-hmm. Um, then they got a they, they tried. They tried a few things. None yeah. of them worked. Mm-hmm. Let's just try some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's just start over. Somebody new. Yeah. And let's try to build around them. Yeah. And see what we, what we could do. Because at the end of the day, too, that'll make it so we can, we don't have to pay that person because they ain't proved shit to us either. <laughs> We don't right. gotta pay them that much, and we can get some other people. Right. And if they turn out great, then cool. Factor. And then Dame happy somewhere else. Maybe I don't know where you go. They right. talking about going to the Heat, but nah. Man, we, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I fuck with Dame. My favorite two K player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm saying I fuck with him. Yeah. But he, I don't think he makes sense on the Heat. You don't think he makes sense on the Heat? Oh. Well, you already small. Pause. But uh, yo. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, like you said, I think it's it, it's being said, but without being said. But I think at the same time, he's trying to see what, what's good. What y'all gonna try to do? Like, I think if they don't do nothing by the draft or on draft night, then I think he's like, all right, we out. You know what I'm saying? Or something is arranged around that time because they do have the third pick overall. That's that's valuable. That's very valuable, you know what I'm saying? Right now, fire. We just like, had the weirdest year on NCAA that we have seen in a minute. Mm-hmm. That three really not that valuable. Like, it's it only is, two players that was talking. Nah, about but all it is. Year. It's, it's, a, it's a it's a kid that was. Uh, it's another kid, and then it's a kid that uh, played for the uh, 
the Ignite. So in the what's that? The D League? Is that the D Leagues when they skip college and go to the G League? The G League, yeah. They got they had a player that's over there that can go second or third. So it's literally three players after that, then like you said, it's definitely up in the air for sure. But uh it's still valuable for a team that's trying to rebuild and stuff like that and trying to get away from their superstars. So definitely, you know what I mean? Definitely valuable. Uh the Pelicans, you know what I'm saying, is, is interested in that third pick, you know. Pelicans? We'll get, yeah. You know, they're interested in that pick. We'll get to the Pelican in a minute. <laughs> to, to Paul, so the big Pelican in a minute. Paul. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, they, they, they're rumored to, How you, you know, pause and then make it a more pause? Yeah. <laughs> when you try to pause too much. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so they, they, they're one of the teams that, you know, want to, you know, trade up and, and uh, get the cat out just talking about from the, from, the, from the G League. You know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, well, we're, like we're going to see. League MVP or something? Nah, he, I guess he's nice. Or like I said, he's supposed point to point guard. Or something. Nah, a big man too. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah. That's why they said they want to, you know, kind of put him with Zion and shit. You know what I mean? See what they can do or whatever like that. So, in that case right there, if they get Bi for that third pick, what you think? That that's a good trade, and you think that's a good enough to keep Dame there? It'd definitely be interesting. That's I. I just made the trade for them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They should give me a cut. <laughs> For sure. Be interesting. Right. <laughs> that would be interesting. But I think I think that'll make, you know what I mean? Like I said, third pick. I think B.I., his trade value, I think it's a third pick. You know what I'm saying? If you want to add a player in there, just you to. definitely add a player. Or yeah, just to. Drop, just to pick or just yeah, just to balance the, the, the money. pick or Yeah, to balance the money or whatever they got to do for it. But, yeah, I could definitely see that working out and damn get it. Because B is an all-star. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Ingram, oh, yeah, know, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. B.I. B.I. is an all-star. You add him with Dame, and then, you know, you go out and go try to, you know, get up, you know, need some big mans or whatever down low to, to balance the team out and stuff like that, and I can see that rocking out for sure. Yeah, I think he's going to be out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I think, think he's going to be out there. Yeah, you think he's going to be out I don't same, know where he's going to go. I same, think he's going to be out of there. Same for Bill. Bradley what Bill. they send his ass to Detroit? Nah, fucked up. Yeah, well, he he can't say nothing to Detroit. Bradley Beal is like yeah. one of the only NBA players that got no trade clause. Or, like, so he can well he get to pick what trade what team he get. I want to say not somebody else, but that's Stephon Diggs. That's yeah, cool. he get to pick. Oh, we get the Diggs in later on too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he get a no trade clause, so he get to pick. You know what I mean? What come back and return? And Washington on, you know, the GM got the green light to blow the shit up too. You know what I'm saying? So the <laughs> rebuild. So. That'd be interesting, you know. Maybe they get the third pick for that, you know what I'm saying? And watch them have two high picks or whatever. But you never know, you know what I'm saying? Until somebody pull the trigger, we don't know nothing. It's all speculations. But you know, CJ said if he was a bad man, you know, he tried to retract it himself. But he was like, if he a bad man, you know, Dame's out of there. Yeah, yeah he tried to retract that's it. But Dame is man. You know, they talk. You know what I'm saying? And you know, Dame's like, yeah, you know, I'm still gonna try. That's right why I was asking him. They just he had just talked to him like the day before. Right. Oh, he said that's why he was trying to retract it. Yeah, he's trying to retract it now. Like, it's yeah. too late, bro. But, yeah, I could definitely see that. You know what I'm saying? Bill being in the talks, too. But, yeah, we'll see, man. You know what I'm saying? And go from there. Is that know. snitching? That's dry snitching. So that, <laughs> that's dry snitching. So that's snitching. <laughs> if you got anything to the snitch, you dry snitching nothing, or whatever. Nothing about our conversation. You got that, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, talking about the law and stuff like that. You got John talking about a fake gun and shit like that. Yeah, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to just make everything up. And that is, the commissioner said, after the finals, it'll be a decision, so. Yeah, we on the countdown. Yeah, and he did, you know, right. John on the countdown, boy. You know, like I said, fake gun. Come on, man. That's what everybody looking for. It's like the OJ case. Like, we just looking for the verdict. Right. Like, what's up? What, what he about to do? What he about like to do? Like I said, half the season. 25 games? 30 games? I think half the season. What? I think half the season. Somebody somebody said like sixteen games because then he ain't eligible for no, or eighteen games he not eligible for no awards. No. Oh. <laughs> Regardless, he's seen he's seeing some. My man is yeah. Because they got the new rule, you got to play like sixty four games or something in order to win anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they got that's good. That's per, that's beautiful. I like that because you know, some people don't deserve certain awards and miss half the season or you know third third of season or whatever. But, yeah, we'll see what y'all coming out. Like I said, I expect half the season. Just because the incidents happen, like, back-to-back. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't even let it breathe. It haven't been a year or none. You know what I'm saying? The so. rollout, crazy. 
<laughs> the rollout is crazy though. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. After 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 the finals, yeah, we're gonna right. tell everybody what's going on. Yeah. Right, we're gonna focus on the finals. You know what I'm saying? Then we come back to you know what I mean. And we we're gonna delegate. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the whatever the jury do, and then we're gonna come back to your head. But yeah, I expect half the season, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. But and then his, his draft bro. Number one overall in that draft class. His draft bro, man. <sighs> He, he finally got old enough to get that Bang Bros subscription. <laughs> <laughs> got old enough for a lot of days, right? He was definitely that young oh buck boy, in the day. Not Ooh. worried about no basketball right now. He worried about basketball. <clears throat> but not the one. He's slamming dunk in another hole. <laughs> he's slamming hey, dunk you. another hole. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> that boy Zion, man. The Zion, like, man. man. Say, social media really, like, it puts your whole life out there. Like, it's transparent. And and, and you know what? I, I've been, like, feeling like that for a minute. Like, because mm-hmm. I'm thinking, like, yo, social, the only way you really win on social media, you kind of got to live with the people that you're friends with on social media without living with them. What you mean? You got to tell them all your business. Right. <laughs> you got to <laughs> In order to be popular on social media, okay. you got to tell everybody all your business. Basically. Because everybody knows you as fuck. Basically. <laughs> well, um, that boy, got he got exposed, man. He got exposed by... Uh, 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 I'm in love with a... An entertainer. Right. I'm not going to say with a stripper, but... A corn star, I guess, YouTube. <laughs> corn star, they call him. Cause corn star? Yeah, cause <laughs> I don't know YouTube be saying some stuff. Like hey, that. Man. hey, yo. So they call them corn stars, but <clears throat> yeah, he got caught up, man. She came out and said, "Yo, yo, yo, yo," because he he put out a picture, mm-hmm. cuffed up with a shorty smiling, shorty, yeah, cheesing shorty. from ear to ear, son. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, yeah. I got a baby coming, son. Ooh. I really, got, I really got a Ooh. baby coming. Like I'm a grown man now. And shorty said, whoa, right. "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! You my ticket. Challenge on the plate." Challenge on the plate. Yeah, I throw a flag on her Challenge ass. Challenge on the plate. <laughs> I understand and you the ticket. Right, he was the ticket, but... He was the ticket, though. But like, how you know he wasn't going to keep giving you the ticket? That's what, that's what people were saying. You feel she, me? She fucked up the bag. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, you don't blow that up. You don't do it like that. You don't, man. You don't do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with the girl. I was going to get right back. Like, come on, man. You getting paid on the side? A lot of money. Like, son was like, yeah, how much? Basically. He a young cat, so you know. Son said how much. I don't, much? Think, I don't think that number was that number, though. Not, probably not, but son said. It don't even matter, though. Say son it. said how much is going to cost you, me per month for you to move out here, son. And she was out there? She moved out there? I don't know. He was talking now, he about, was about to, He was about to relocate. I saw yeah. that. She wants some bread. Like, you relocate. I lost this. And I mean, I'm, you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying I left to, out of this. To I've, get been that. Try, I've been trying to retire from OnlyFans. <laughs> I was like, what? See, but that's where you, that's, that's where you fucked up at, right? <laughs> what? So you she treating you, that OnlyFans like a, like a, a, a career. Like, some people do. Yo, she said Some people I'm, do, but that's she, what but she that, said I've been trying. Like, no, you haven't. That's what you, <laughs> that's where you mess up at though, right? Because what you do is you you know, you do what you gotta do and you get the fuck out of it. If you you know what I mean? A lot of people ain't doing that just to just to do it. You know what I'm saying? They trying to do it and get the fuck out. And Man, run. Zion was trying to cuff Shorty though. Like Nah, he was cuffing Shorty. He was cuffing that. Yo, she was at the I think she was at the games, huh? And he wasn't playing. <laughs> <laughs> she had seats behind them, on the, behind the bench. They got they got like video, they, they got yeah. pictures. Yeah. Like, porn star chick? Uh, I, I, maybe it's her, I'm not I ain't confirmed. But it's shit. like three it's like three different bitches. And yeah, and they getting, it's like the end of the game type shit. Everybody getting off the bench. Yeah. And yeah. Him and BIs in street clothes. Like, yeah. they must have been both hurt or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, he hurt. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> and get up, walk away from the bench. They like, yo, this is why he was so happy that night or whatever. Like, right. He got bitches come to the game and he not even playing in them. Right. What the fuck I'm going to play for? Y'all right. going to give me all this money? Right. He signed the extension, right? So he already got the big bag. He got the bag. <laughs> he got the big bag. He got the bag. He good. He, good. he probably fucked that bitch in every room of the house. Absolutely. Why not? 
The, the average person gonna do that. So man, you a millionaire. You know he what I'm saying? With a, he, with a porn star. He got a mansion. He well, I ain't gonna say no porn star, but I, but a porn lady or man, whatever you whatever floats your boat, right? You gonna do everything and everywhere that you saw. <laughs> On like you said, he a young cat, yo, right? Like you said, he a yo, young cat. So you did that, yo. Can we do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, exactly. Mm. Hey, yo, yo, I got yeah, ten thousand. Mm. Fuck it, All right, come on, <laughs> man. Like you said, man. Once you want you a star, man, it ain't even matter like that. Once a chick get flown out, set up nine figures. All that. He up nine figures. Like I said, once a chick get flown out, like you like said, sixty games. Now his man, his name is like you said. She get an allowance a month, like yo, just. Don't even, live, don't even live in the same city. I got you. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's when she's supposed to pff, elevate. <laughs> some people are some people are like that though. You know, sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was on his sugar daddy shit. He was, yeah. Now nah, he's got caught. He, like I said, they all do, you know what I mean? Entertainers mm -hmm. or whoever, they all get the little porn chick, you know what I mean? And pay whatever a couple of dollars and you know what I mean, have some fun. And then you seen Paul Pierce, and then Paul Pierce was out here tripping. He was wild. What well, he on? Though, he son. was out. He was on. What well, he on? Margaritas. <laughs> I mean, Limeritas. I think he had Limeritas, man. He had margarita. Margaret, let me get margarita. You know, let me get yo. yo. I got this girlfriend for a day, son. I went to yo. his website. You get a girlfriend for a day, yo. <laughs> KG like yo, yo, look at D Wade. He yo. like man, fuck that. I got this bitch for the day. <laughs> what you trying to do, KG? Pause, but damn, what you you want her too? <laughs> KG trying to. That married man, I know the feeling. Like I don't know what you talking about, bro. Yeah, the game. You see yeah, it? he said, "Remember, yeah." So that move right there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Yo, yo, we on live like, stream, man. We on live stream." He's like, no, we ain't live, son. We ain't live. Like, you gonna show me? As soon as he got that phone, he was like, "Oh shit, we on live." <laughs> yeah, Pish. I don't know where he on, man. Ever since that nigga got out of the league and. Yeah, got fired from the ESPN. Fire. I don't think he married with... Well, obviously, he ain't married no more. I know he was married. Once you do all that, man, you out here a free agent? Son, running a girlfriend for the day. Right. So you know who that, what that is, right? Yeah. What we were just talking about. Exactly. Come on, man. <laughs> was bragging about it. Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, Give me a lighter. Give me a lighter. Right. Sweet. Nigga, smoke Yo, don't make me smack you. <laughs> right, he was ready to fight an AD. <laughs> That nigga remind me of my cousin, man. That same demeanor, man. That same demeanor, word. Don't make me smack you. That same demeanor. I'm like, yo, he remind me. Yeah, that's crazy. That same demeanor when they saw us and just how they be acting and shit like that. But yeah, that, oh, psh, man, that Pierce was, on. That was the funniest video I've ever seen in my life, yo. Because KG like just, oh, fuck. But right. like, they... They know what the fuck gonna happen though. They they could have cut that shit off. Like they could have cut off. Yo, know technical difficulties come back and he not there. Cause right. yo, you wildin', you drunk, you off that Molly or some shit. Yeah, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He like, on, he on, yeah, you popped the ecstasy, motherfucker. Like get yeah, the fuck he on out, more bro. than just liquor and some weed. And yeah, get on some other shit. Yeah, I mean, I hope he. You know what I mean? I don't know. I hope he get straightened out, man. He was about to bust that bitch down on live, so he kept feeling on her. <laughs> Yo, man. Don't lose it all, Pierce, man. Don't lose it all. I know you probably lost some bread for sure. Just getting five from ESPN and all that. <laughs> That's who Zion need to call. Hell no, he don't need no Paul Pierce. <laughs> nigga lose all his money. Paul like, Pierce with me, you fucking with the wrong bitches. Come on, come here. Nah, you gonna run it, right, you can run it for a day. You ain't, nah, way cheaper. That's gonna be the title of this episode. You can run it for a day. <laughs> You can rent it for a day. It's cheaper than a whole month, right? <laughs> you rent the check for a whole month. Oh, shit. That's too much, you know what I mean? And you only seen it in a couple of days. Hard. Yeah. We don't rent by the month. We rent by the days, yeah, right? That's how we going now. Different, different for the, you know, different events. We get different, you know what I mean? That's how we do out here. Yo, don't let me smack you. Shit, you wild, man. Cheers, man. Yeah, the Jigs truth. You the, the truth, man. The truth after dark. <laughs> Yeah, that should be his podcast, The Truth After the Duck. And just, you can wild out like that. Or you can even fake the funk. Get some help and act like you out there wild and stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Right. I hope you get the attention he needs, though, for sure. Oh, my God. The right attention, you know what I'm saying? Child, yeah, man. That shit was hilarious. And you saw that, uh, 
Floyd and them wilding out in the streets. <laughs> what was that even about? <laughs> who even know who? Somebody just let me know who when who follows when Floyd flights anymore. But this nigga fight like every two months. Yeah, in it's a not different serious. We hear shit. about it, but ain't nobody like yeah, really ain't nobody it, tapped yeah. in, right? Because he getting his bag regardless. He ain't really worried about the views. That nigga, and he know he about to whip whoever ass in front of him. Like you know what I'm saying? That nigga a king though. But this, I, I salute him because, like you said, like I just said, every three months this nigga out here just staying in shape, in regular shape, because he ain't the best shape, but he out there collecting. You know what I'm saying? For his lifestyle, he out there with his grandson. You know what I mean? He chilling. Someone's fighting John Gotti the third. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what the fuck? Like the real John Gotti yeah. the third. Like must have been for a favor, like. You know? Yeah, man, let me get a favor, man. I'm the Gotti. Yeah. Then the bullshit happened. Why they stopped the fight? Was he getting beat up? I mean, he yeah, he was getting beat up the whole fight, but um, okay. Cause I guess he do fight. He do 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 MMA, and I guess he kind of nice in MMA. Yeah, yeah, I know he got so, got to do something you know to be, to be uh, to at least get in the ring with Floyd. Yeah. So yeah. I guess I guess Floyd was paused, toying with him. You know what I'm saying for the fight, and. It was at one point they grabbed they was, you know grabbing each other yeah and the, the ref like yo break it up break but the dude wouldn't let go he's still all ex- exhibition all right yeah. Still, yeah that's what I'm saying but he, the dude wouldn't let go like he wouldn't let go went to the ropes or whatever and I guess they was already talking shit to each other like it was the yeah, first, yeah, yeah. it was the first time I heard a ref say yo watch the language <laughs> like what. It's 2023, man. These refs be on the power trips. Man. It's the same dude, though. The Kenny Bayless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talking about language. So they was already talking shit to each other. And then I guess uh, when when the dude, when Gotti didn't listen to the ref when he said, let go, the ref was like, fuck it, it's over. Okay. And so called that, the fight. That's how he called it? Okay. Yeah. So it was like, well, first of all, it's exhibition, man. What the fuck is you like? Right, right. Don't even do that. Like, period. Right. Like, you getting a check, too, nigga? Yeah. Fuck. But as soon as but he did it though, yeah, as soon as he did it though, Gotti like, nah, fuck that, and he tried like yeah, I see get him. around him yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, Floyd so clocked his ass. Yeah, yeah, nah, as soon as Floyd clocked his ass, it was over. Like he ain't no, like, right, it ain't no, step back. Right, 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 it ain't no hands down, man down. Like what, what? That's the always the rule. Listen, he yeah, with the bop, bop, right. He bop, saw you, yeah, he saw you stumble yeah. like that. Listen, that's the rule. With anything, man, when you arguing with anybody, especially that you don't know, out on these streets or anywhere. Don't put your hands down, man, and don't turn around on the nigga, for sure. Right. Always look, because it's, it's people, <laughs> they get sucker punched real quick, man, so definitely, you know what I mean? But that was wild. Yeah, that's, the only, that's how I caught it, like, the refs stopping it, and then they start scrapping. Yeah. Right? Tri- Yo, know, Floyd be treating these motherfuckers like heavy bags, though. Like, he be doing yeah, a heavy yeah, bag yeah, drill yeah. on mm-hmm. their ass. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He ain't, even, he, like, he ain't he doing sweating, nothing. Man. Nah, he just bang. But he landed. Like, he sparred. He sparred. But he landed, though. He 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 running across the ring to talk to somebody in the crowd. Yeah. Well, he ran because he wanted to give himself some time to talk shit to you before he got to turn around right, right. and awesome. block. Yeah, like, a, like, Lord is is like, one of the you know best boxers of all time, if not the best boxer in all time to people. So he gonna toy with you. You feel me? And he getting paid like he know what he doing. He like this guy's an amateur. He ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't sweating this guy. I turn my back on. You know, I started this other thing, and I'm gonna turn it back around. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that was crazy though. You say you how, got do you, how do you feel about Shakur Stevenson? I love it. Sending bottles to Devin it. Haney, saying sign that contract. I love it. Bitch. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. I love it. And he was looking the same way he was looking in the ring. That nigga, like, he's, he just got that look. For now. Right. For now. He for just now. got that look like. <laughs> Like he is smiling, but it's that like scary. Like, look, yeah, like, he figured him out. He figured him yeah, out. Yeah, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? You see it in person now. You like, okay, factor. Yeah, I see what he do. Yeah, I see what he not good at. You right. know what I'm saying? I see what he good at. I see what he not good at. I know I can whip his ass. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I love that. it too, though. I love that shit. Yeah, I love it. You That's some saying? old school shit. Right. Old school, new school shit. Like, it's, and it's and it's and, and all in you know all in all, I mean, it's still friendly. They still cool. You know what I'm saying? But. Definitely, it's getting it's it's a mind game now for Shakur. It's, you know, Haney getting a little aggravated and you know calling him some names and all this other stuff like that. So definitely getting the Haney's head for sure. 
So we'll see, though. Like you said, you got the Crawford and Spinks coming up, so they finally signed that and then having press conferences and stuff. So I'm like, all right, bar an injury or anything like that, we're going to see that. So that's what's up for sure. I ain't watched the press conference, but I seen the uh, the title of the video says something like, I guess Crawford told Spence, I'm going to break your other eye. Ouch. <laughs> My eye That's one thing I, I forgot about Spence That he got that eye problem Yeah But We'll see um, And a lot of people I ain't gonna lie At first Before the contract got signed I seen a lot of people mm-hmm. Talking about Errol Spence Errol Spence Errol Spence Yeah I'm not Soon, you guys, Soon I'm as they saying. signed the contract Terrence Crawford What was that Terrence Crawford gonna whoop his ass <laughs> Terrence Crawford gonna whoop his ass Yeah remember I said Crawford I've been saying Crawford I said Buzz since day one So Yeah Now I mean I like I fuck with Spence You know what I'm saying but yeah, I'm Roll Crawford though for sure. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna have to just because of that eye. <laughs> just because of that eye. Yeah. Like, I got reminded of that. I'm like, ooh, like the Crawford, because Crawford is the type of fighter that's gonna target it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, smart. Any smart tar- any smart um, you know, fighter gonna target a, an injury or anything like that. That's just that's just all strategy. Any fight, any type of fight, you know what I mean? UFC, whatever, you're gonna go after that, you know what I mean? For sure. <laughs> You know, keeping it like I said in Vegas and stuff like that, man. Nevada, they passed. You know what I'm saying? The UFO? Oh, nah, nah. Other than the UFO, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and everything is happening. Aliens is here, people. Like I said, and everything happening in Vegas though. But yeah, Nevada, they, they passed 380 million dollars. You know what I'm saying? To go towards a new stadium for the Oakland A's. You know what I'm saying? So that's one step closer for getting the A's out of Oakland. So, so what was that? What was that whole thing about with Oakland? With the fans actually came through, like yeah, I, I don't, yeah, was, I ain't read too much into it, but because yeah. it was weird. As I, what I read quick was like mm-hmm. it said something like the fans was like they wanted to let the Oakland A's know that it wasn't the fans' fault. Um, I guess the fans been wanted them to move the team or some shit. I don't know. Oh, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Listen, Oakland, Oakland been like I said, money ball and all that good stuff, like. They been they for a while they put out decent decent quality they like the Tampa Bay Rays you know what I'm saying like they'll put out decent quality out there and make the playoffs or whatever but it was like the San Diego Chargers like you don't get no people in the stands though and then uh, you know if you don't get no people in the stands you're not gonna improve the stadium like you know what I'm saying they playing Oakland Coliseum like the old joint you know what I'm saying like half the seats are covered in Baseball you know, field, you know, field. for real, like you know, it's like yeah, it's just like it was just, I don't know, but yeah, so it's like you know, it's one step closer for them going to Vegas, man. So that's definitely big for Vegas, and you know, hopefully the A's, you know, another attraction to the to the uh, to Vegas. That's you know, crazy, right? Something o- to see. The Oakland Raiders went to Las Vegas, Vegas yeah. and then the Oakland A's gonna go to Vegas too. Yeah, hey, man, and that's where it's at. That's where it's at, right? Fuck it. Like I said, it's more attraction. Now when you go to, L, to the Vegas, you go hit a hit a casino or a slot. Hey, you might win some tickets football to go watch game. the damn baseball game. You know what I'm saying? Baseball game, football game. Yeah, basketball coming. You know what I'm saying? LeBron going to have that basketball team in five years. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. So, you know, a little NFL talk. You got close to home. You know, you got the Buffalo Bills. And oh, hold Stephon up, hold Diggs. up, hold up. I might have to plug this. Hold up, hold up, hold I, might, up. I might have to plug this in earlier into the podcast, though. Shout you know out what to him. Shout out to Thomas Bryant. Yes, sir. From the Nuggets, man. So when from you said something, so yeah, you said yeah. something, I was like, yeah. Thomas Bryant from the Rock, Shout man. Got Thomas the Bryant, chip man. for the Rock, brought got one that home. Championship. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Got traded from the Lakers, but ended up on the right squad. Facts. You know what Perfect what time to get traded, right? Got Perfect. traded. Perfect. I traded to Denver, you know what I'm saying? Way, play, less, play sp- way less effort. Yeah, played sparingly, you know what I'm saying? He definitely was doing it. I was, I was he hoping. He was helping the Lakers. Yeah, I was like, he was doing his thing with the Lakers. He was working out. I thought he was going to get more burn in Denver, but he didn't. But, hey, man. Got the chip. Brought still it back getting to the that, body, still right? Get, right. Still getting that check. And you get a chip? Come on, bro. You played. That's what you played the game. To win a championship he one day. He played to win the game. Yeah, man, to get that championship one day. And look, he got championships. So definitely shout out to Thomas Bryant for sure. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, going to Stephon Diggs, man, you know, it's conf- conflicting reports, you know what I'm saying? Him, him, you know, not being in Buffalo, him being in Buffalo. I've been there for a couple of days. I've been meeting with coaches. And da, 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 pa, pa, pa. But when the smoke is fire, man, and he. Buffalo's close to Canada, man. And, you know, last week it was very smoky. Put that filter on. You feel me? It was very smoky. 
And I'm, hey, man, when I think of smoke, it's fire, man. I think, I don't know. R Dick's, for some reason, I don't know why, he just rubs me the wrong way. Like, I don't know why. Like, he ain't did nothing to me. I don't know from fucking can of paint. But it's just like his demeanor and his stuff, you know, just rubs me the wrong way. And yeah, that's what I got from that, man. He just rubbed me the wrong way. You think on your trade? Oh, no, he got the no trade. We was just saying that. Nah, he don't got the no trade. Yeah, he do. He got no trade too? Okay, you were saying, you were saying that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I remember. Okay. He got the no trade clause. So like, okay. They're saying that he kind of salty or whatever because they was talking about bringing in Hopkins or that he might be salty that they didn't bring in Hopkins. I'm about to say that wouldn't affect his check or nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not affecting his check that they wanna Like it is um, an ego thing. Ego. Ego. Like, oh, I can't do it myself. You can't. He had a bit. You know what I'm saying? People mm. got ego. Yeah, no, I, I, but that's what I'm saying. Well, he rubs me the wrong way. He got that cocky little attitude, like if I don't get the ball, I'm kinda mad type, you know what I'm saying? So I can see that conflicting and stuff like that. But you had that with Buff. You had that with Minnesota. They traded you. You went to Buffalo. Worked out. Got a bag. You got the bag. He just signed his contract last year. Is Dalvin Cook over there? No, Dalvin Cook is a free agent though. He's from Minnesota as well. He got cut. You know what I'm saying? So he's a free agent. He's taking a little tour visit. He's going on tour right now. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter what I seen. I think I seen him with some Bills here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's a. Uh, you know, Cook brother, younger brother, played for the Buffalo Bills. That's who I saw. That yeah, yeah, he played for the Buffalo Bills. So you can have that connection. You got that brother's connection. Buffalo is lacking the, you know, still that threat and running back position, I think. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? To real give him over. Threat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The real threat. Like, Cook brother, he has some, you know what I mean? Some good games out there as a rookie, you know what I'm saying? But He running back too? Yeah, he running back. Yeah, yeah. So him and Singletary was, you know. Going that back guy, and forth. I'd be fucked up. Come, come through and take your brother's spot, though. Yeah, I'm going to be there for a year or two. It's all right. It's all right. And then you got that leverage, Chill, too, though. little bro. Chill. That's all I'm about to say. And you got Fuck that little... You. you. got that... <laughs> I was just about to say, you got that little leverage, too, then, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, my brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm here with my brother. You know what I mean? Like, like my brother Morris, here, I'm here. You like know what I'm Morris saying? Like the Morris twins. Yeah, like, you got that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, we'll see, though. We'll see if Cook over there, but... Yeah, with Diggs, man, I, I don't know, man. Like I said, he just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know what it is when the smoke is fire, but, you know, we'll see. Like I said, shout he just got to, paid. So. Shout, yeah, shout out to Josh Allen. Uh-oh. Cover him out. And shout out to whoever, whatever fans that was in that picture. <laughs> is, that fire. A, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mm, I don't know. I haven't been playing Madden, so I haven't been paying attention to no curse or nothing. Nah, but they said the curse been kind of going already. Yeah, I think whatever. Patrick Mahomes broke it or something. Yeah, yeah, they've been saying like the last couple of years it hasn't been sticking like that. So we'll see though. Like I said, Josh Allen, I root for Josh Allen. I like Josh Allen as a quarterback. You know, I had him, you know, MVP. First last Buffalo year. player on the cover though. Is it? Yeah. They ain't have OJ on the juice, man? They ain't wasn't even mad at back then. <laughs> OJ played in like the 60s. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I was, nah, I was saying more or less, you know how they do the throwback joints and stuff like that? Yeah, nah. I thought he might have got Barry it. Barry Sanders was. But he would not got it either because when they started doing the throwbacks. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he was. <laughs> yeah. They would have boycotted Madden for that. You know what I'm saying? He would have put OJ on the cover. Because I was, damn, I was in middle school. Juice. Yeah, we watched that. Ain't. I mean, you know what moments, you know what I'm saying, in life where you was at? The the middle school Mr. Dudley class math class that brought out shout remember out to Mr. Dudley shout out to Mr. Dudley man it was a cool teacher I might have gave him hell a little bit but yeah definitely a cool 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 cat for sure but uh if everybody knows school when they bring out that big ass TV on the little road cart with the DVD yep, player yep, on it yep, yep. they brought that out the deep not even DVD this is the cassette this VHS. is uh, VHS they brought that out boom boom boom. VCR, son. VCR. VCR not even in the TV. It's a right. separate VCR. Separate, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's a separate. Show. <laughs> Brought that out, plugged it in, watching the verdict. Verdict on the OJ trial. Come on, son. We in middle school, so you know how big that was. Put it out. You know what I'm saying? And we saw the trial. You know, people cheer. We ain't know the fuck with cheer. We know OJ is the juice. Come on, man. You can't lock up the juice. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my... Where I was at at that point in time, you know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Just you know, full circle on that aspect, but bring out <laughs> the TVs, yeah, that was wild. Mr. Dudley class, yeah. 
Red House, shout out to the Red House cats, you know what I'm saying? Anything I was gonna be able to do it, Mr. Dudley. Right. Anything I was gonna be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Dudley. I know you believed in me, man. Like I said, I gave you hell, man. You was a cool cat, man. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Douglas had Douglas. All my teachers, man, was pretty cool. I don't think I had no shitty teachers, man. You know, you can get you know you ever had you had shitty teachers? Nah, not really. Not, even my asshole teacher, he was an asshole. He was a cool asshole. Like Okay. <clears throat> Like he he my first teacher that would actually like curse, no curse, like really curse, and then don't give a fuck if you curse either. Okay, like you know what I'm saying, like whatever, curse back at him, whatever. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. not gonna kick you out unless unless you ain't doing his work type shit. You know, gotcha, like, gotcha. yeah, yeah. And he he really taught he he taught me some shit like, and for me not to like English class, mm-hmm. it was just like I right, no and he taught me some some new shit. And okay, I'm like, all right. respect. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Shout out to that teacher. What's his name? You know, remember his name? I don't. Uh, come on, man. I don't. Shout out I, to Mr. Dre. Thomas or some you shit said what like, teacher was it? Mr. Thomas or some shit. Mr. Thomas? Um, what, what what class was it? It was like AP English. Okay. Shout out to your English teacher, man. He taught me, I had to write a 10 page paper without using the words you or I. Mm. I think you, you know said how that. hard that is? Psh, trust me, I already know. I couldn't even. Magnify that shit. We just said you or I like 15 times in the you last You say that seconds. all the time. <laughs> all the time. You, I, yeah. All the time. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That was cool. But, um, yeah, nah, I ain't had no really asshole teachers like that. Yeah, I think, like I said, I mean, you know, people As get- boring ass teachers. Yeah, you can get your boring ones for sure. Yeah, you can you get those for sure. Yeah, you get those for sure. The substitutes was the worst. The substitute, yeah, Jonathan was my substitute one time. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. Cause I, yo, shout out to Jay Blaze. Son. Shout out to Blaze. He always that had to be funny, right? To you, you like, oh shit. I'm not. Thing is, I'm like, damn. Let me do my work. Right, that too, right. But then I needed some help on the work, and I'm like, yo, help me out right quick. He like, I don't know this shit. <laughs> <laughs> He just I'm like, well, shit. All right, then whatever. Then we got some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're like, I'm a substitute teacher. Shit, I don't know what the math sign, I don't know what y'all doing. I'm here to teach. It was like it. geometry. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, it was like, ah, so I don't know. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> you about to lean on them and shit. Right, like, yo, no. First, you like, don't tell my mama. Don't, oh, right, don't, right. don't tell my mama, man. All right, you want some bullshit, too. Right, you like, oh, shit, you don't know. Fuck it. I don't know either, man. Guess that goes for that work. Or, we for that day, you're right. Because, uh, because, he the substitute teacher, right? But we also a, had an assistant teacher. Let me get a hall pass. You know, we had a teacher assistant too, though. It uh-huh. was some young dude, though. Like, yeah. this math class. Okay. So, we had some young dude, and he's, like, taking the teacher's spot now. Now it's his turn. He's teacher assistant. Teacher gone, even though we got a substitute. Mm-hmm. I, I got to take control or whatever now. But he, he ain't nobody real fuck about him. Anybody ain't nobody tripping. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do what the fuck we want anyway. You know right, what I mean? right, 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 right. And that's why every time we talk about it now, he be like, yeah, y'all was bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was trying to be good, though. Right, right. <laughs> you ain't know the yeah, shit. Yeah, substitutes. Yeah. We had this one substitute, man, this little white lady. She just didn't give a shit. Like, you niggas just throwing shit. Niggas is just wilding. Signing in and walking out. Like, I did that a few times. But, yeah, she was just wilding. And it's funny because she, I don't know, I think she was, like, partially retired, you know what I'm saying? Because she was already kind of old and, then it go to Warren Road. Remember oh, Warren Road had that little like ice cream shop? I think she was like the older of the ice cream shop. That was just was funny just to see her there. I'm like, yo, she was the substitute teacher. Bro, she was funny. I had a substitute teacher that was giving edge ups. <laughs> what? <laughs> giving edge ups in class? <laughs> giving edge ups. And my boy got an edge up. And the principal walked in his class. <laughs> and she got packed her shit up. And she fucked my boy up. <laughs> This shit was fucked up. Oh, she fucked him up? And she was just learning and shit? Oh, no, she had clippers in her purse. What the fuck she, she had? Like, she, had? Need, she like, yo, we got to do this, we got to do that, and we got to do this, but yo, I'm giving that job <laughs> She must have been taking, uh, what you call it, cosmetology. Probably need some practice. On the side, <laughs> yeah, and need some practice on your asses. She's an older lady, though, like. Right. I'm yeah. like, oh, this shit is fucking nah. Ooh, so my boy, wild, came, my boy came to the next class with the crooked. The <laughs> this oh, shit was crooked. Man. I was like, oh, she fucked you up right. too. Fucked you up. Man. <laughs> she got fired and she fucked you up. 
And the principal walked in, what happened? I don't know what, like, she, she, like, uh, really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really else, what was it right now? You oh, that's how it. he came in there like that? Yeah, 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 yeah like, come on. Nah, this over. It's, right. it's sick out. All right, it must not have <laughs> been the first time. <laughs> Fuck somebody up. <laughs> That's funny, man. Boy, she got listen. fired for fucking them up, not giving them heads. Right. Why you fucking up like that? Yeah, that's why. That's why. She, that's the real reason why she got fired. <laughs> not because she was edging somebody up, because she fucked that nigga up. Because the principal was about to ask for edge right after, but saw that shit and said, "Hell no, nah. pack your shit and get the fuck on." Definitely no shout out to all them cosmetology people that be fucking people up, man. Bad. Yeah, now nah, that's that. Them shits is hard, man. I had like I said, I had a bowl cut. You know what I'm saying? My sister, Lisa, you know what I'm saying? Tried to cosmetology, gave me a fresh bow cut. Had that shit for like two days and went and got a real cut. I couldn't get no cuts. I need the cut for the first day of school. Yeah, that was the worst. You know, school started on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You know how that go? Yep. So shit, that Friday, Saturday, I went and got a real cut. And uh, after that, I ain't getting no bad cuts as far as like that. You know, occasionally you motherfucker will fuck your edge up up, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, you know what I mean? Or a little line on your fade when nigga used to get fades and shit, you know what I'm saying? And don't fade you up properly, but yeah. I've been blessed so far, let me knock on wood. I've been blessed so far though. My shit, the barber just gotta trace my shit. Like my shit it don't matter how long my hair go, my shit's still there. <laughs> like it just a lot of hair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't be I don't I, I Nigga with braids, I hate that little sh joint they be having. That little landing strip, as they say, man, on their head when they had that landing oh, strip the before they fucking shit. Before they braid. Yeah, man. That's the worst. Once I start getting that shit, I'm just cutting my shit. <laughs> Word. That's the worst. And they, people, some people be doing that shit on purpose. Too. Yeah, it is on purpose. I seen some barbers like do that shit on purpose. Like take the little bit. Like, like, it's because they edge up not like ours, though. Yeah, my edge up is. Decent, like my shit go back a little bit, like on these corners, but yeah, they go back this way though. It don't go back, right? Like they don't go in the corners. Yeah, you know, man, it's shit. still straight. It's still edge yeah, up. still. Some people don't do it on purpose either. That shit is just how it grows, and then once the barber get it, they get the little. Yeah, and then it's over. This shit turn into a millimeter to like, an inch. Dang, you like pause. Batman symbol. And shit. Right, that shit be wild. <laughs> that shit for real. I be seeing niggas landing straight. I be like, yeah. <laughs> I don't want that shit <laughs> at all. All right. Well, shit, man. It was, wild. it was a wild little week of sports, man. Definitely shout out to Denver, man. Champion. Shout out to Denver. Shout out to Thomas Bryant again. Shout out to Thomas Bryant. And The okay. Rock. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you one more. Definitely. When the chip. Is he the first from The Rock to get the chip? I think Anthony Lamb got one, but. Okay. Golden State? Yeah. Recently? Yeah. He's in the team? I think he was. They won last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he, got, he got that. So, but this is real right. Rochester, Rochester. It ain't Greece. <laughs> I, get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it hits more when you like say you celebrate more. Like, yeah. When people celebrate more, you know, okay, this this person, like you said, was in the city. Like you know, what I'm saying, do stuff for the city. And I mean, I don't know what Lamb does. You know, what I'm saying. But, yeah, I don't know either, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Shout out to him too, though. Yeah, nah. That was um, shit. He made a leave and rock Greece, whatever New York name. I say everybody dream. But yeah, definitely shout out to Thomas Bryant, man. Good luck to Shannon Sharp, man, on these streets. We'll see. We're, we're going to find out real soon. I don't think it's going to take too long. By the nah, weekend. Nah, nah, shit, shit. Yeah, by the weekend, we'll hit something. You know what I'm saying? By even sooner than that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Same for Ja. That's coincidence that, you know, they had a little beef and they probably need some news to come out at the same time. See what Ja get. I predict half the season. You know what I'm saying? We'll see if Zion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> relax. Okay. Relax. You got to relax. You got to relax. You first you was paying somebody on the side, and now you got a BM too. So if she get mad, then you gotta pay that check. You better just just take a page from. Uh, I mean, they ain't just say no. Just ain't no shots. I'm just letting like, disclaimer. This ain't no shot. Just take it from Paul George, man, and just relax. You feel me? Stay with you know. If y'all cool and y'all love each other, you stay with her as a more kid and just relax. You know what I'm saying? You heard, yo, man. Episode one sixty eight. Yeah, one sixty eight. Yeah, we're one sixty eight. Subscribe, all that. Hit the like button, That's comment. Right. Like, you know subscribe. what I'm saying? Give your perspective because this is the fan perspective. Yo. Yes, sir. It's your boy Henny Drake. It's John John, and this is the fan, fan perspective. perspective. And we out. You heard. Peace.
Ich bin Fasen, ne? Ich <lacht> mal sagen, ich bin Fasen.